Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. VRC lens versus VR check camera. This has been a topic over the years now. So many people are wondering if you should switch to VRC lens or are you okay to stick with the VR check camera? Now I have made a few videos on this and of course you've probably seen them, but today we're going to be going in depth of both of these cameras and seeing what pictures they take, what videos do they take, how they work in different lighting and just overall how do they look and if they fit your style. Now I have personally used both the VRC lens and the VR check camera and I can definitely say that if you care how your images and videos come out you're definitely going to be sticking with VRC lens. Don't get me wrong VR check camera is pretty good and it has evolved over the years. I remember the old VR check camera just used to suck however the updated version of this camera is much better however I still prefer to use VRC lens. So we're going to be starting with VRC lens with of course its appearance. As you can see the camera is really nice and looks super super simple and standard. It's nothing too much that will stick out, but definitely it will pop out and it will people and people will question what is it for the people who don't know. How you get this camera on your avatar is you would have to purchase it, which will cost you $10, and then you would have to apply it in Unity on your avatar, which is really easy to do. It's nothing too hard. Now here's where the fun part begins. In Unity, you have so many settings that you can mess with VRC lens with its aperture and overall zoom and features and functions. You have a drone feature, which, which basically allows you to fly your camera around and make some pretty cool shots of some worlds. Basically treat it like a actual camera where you know how in an actual camera you have settings that you can mess with, for example different lighting, and you get a lot of things for only the 10 bucks that you pay for it. After you applied it on your avatar you're basically ready to go. You have your menu which you use to control your camera, however you still need your VRChat camera because how this works is VRC Lens overwrites VRChat's camera, so you still use VRChat VRC lens to point, but you use the VRChat camera to shoot or actually to take pictures. And I think overall you get so much more settings to play with that are really nice. But with all these features so far, we didn't even get to the best part of VRC lens, which we will get to right now. My favorite part about VRC lens is that you're actually able to customize it, meaning that you're able to customize its color and overall appearance. I have covered a video on this, which is pretty cool. And I do have to say, by using this feature, you're definitely able to change your camera completely and you're able to make it stick out and match your avatar. Now, with all that stuff out of the way, let's actually take a look at how VRC Lens actually performs. By that, I mean, let's take a look at some pictures and videos. Picture with VRC Lens are actually amazing. I think that they overall are sharper and much more refined than the actual VRChat's camera. The biggest difference that I have noticed is actually the overall focus. So meaning if you're actually recording a video or taking pictures, I think that VRC Lens cuts down and ba basically outlines your avatar much better than how VRChat camera is actually doing Doing it with their blur. I know that not many people use the blur feature but I highly suggest you that you do with the VRC lens because it's actually really good and it actually acts like an actual camera. With some pictures with VRC lens they can be pretty much the same as the VR chance camera however I do still think that VRC lens is much better. Videos just come out smoother and nicer and you have much more control over the videos. Speaking about videos if you would like to do drone type videos meaning that you want to fly your camera around both of the VRC lens and VR chat camera have this feature. However I think on VRC lens it's a little bit easier to control. With the VR chats camera you have to fiddle with it and basically learn how to do it but with VRC lens it's just point and shoot and you have a few different ways to control how your camera rotates being with your hand or with a 3.0 menu. I would also like to mention that if you decide to use the drone feature with the VR chat camera the range is pretty horrible. You're basically allowed to move your camera only a few feet away or a few meters away. With the VRC lens it's basically well unlimited and you can go around the world so I think that feature alone is going to make it or break it for some people. If you have shaky hands and you're really trying to stabilize your videos, both of the cameras have the stabilization feature, but I think when it comes to that feature, I think that both of them are pretty much the same. One thing to note, however, with the smooth now feature is if you go way too fast, sometimes your camera is actually going to clip in through your avatar or well through your hand, and this doesn't happen on the VRC lens, but it is apparent on the VRChat camera, so do keep that in mind. 
One cool thing with VRC lens is that it actually has few color features. So you're actually able to record and take pictures in different kind of formats, meaning you want if you want the colors to be much more brighter or a, bit, a little bit more dimmer, you're able to change all of those features in the menu compared to the default VRChat camera, which you can't do that. However, I do like the feature of the VRChat camera where you can have different masks and different backgrounds. So you can actively record in green screen or you can have some action shots or filters over your camera. So if you're making some videos or recording a specific type of shot, then VR, VRChat camera actually has a few of those to make the videos more immersive. I think the biggest feature on the VRChat camera that was always wanted was the ability to take two 4 and 8K photos, so meaning that you can pull on some really close to clear photos, especially if you're taking a big group photo. However, I still did notice that my game lags every time I take a picture with the VRChat camera on 8K setting, compared to the VRC lens where no matter what resolution I'm taking the picture at, I don't lag. However, I do think you're going to lag if you're in a big public instance with 30 plus people. I think no matter what camera you're using, you are definitely going to lag. And even in some scenarios, when you pull out VRC lens, when there's a lot of people in the room, you are going to lag a little bit. Overall though, VRC lens is great, but of course we need to talk about its opponent. which would be the VRChat camera. Now the VRChat camera has a big plus because it is already built in into the actual game. And of course it's free, meaning you don't have to purchase anything. The VRChat camera went through a big update. How it used to look like it was very broken and you could barely press all the buttons, but with a new design and with new features added, it's much more easier to use and much more beginner friendly. I definitely liked how they covered the overall zoom and aperture feature and the fact that you're able to control it yourself. However, as I mentioned before, it can be a bit blurry and you really have to get it in the sweet spot. Otherwise, you're going to be left out with just complete blurry backgrounds and sometimes it'll even affect your avatar. The look of the camera kind of reminds me of Ghost from Destiny 2. It has that really just circular basic laser looking feature and you are able to make it transparent, solid, and you're able to make it completely invisible. However, with the new VRChat avatar scaling system, I think using VRChat camera is going to be much more easier since you can make yourself really Really big and then you're actually able to do some action shots so meaning that if your friend is standing here and you're standing here instead of using the drone feature you're able to just make yourself bigger and then you're just able to drag your hand and basically follow their avatar which is pretty neat the stability feature of this camera is actually decent it can pretty much match the VRC lens quite well and overall it's pretty good one thing that VR check camera has that the VRC lens doesn't is all the cool masks that you can have so like I mentioned before if you record in a specific video, you're able to use these masks and actually save yourself the time so you don't have to edit the footage later on. As we all know, VRChat camera is built into the VRChat and VRChat itself it's free, so we can't expect much for the free camera. So what does one make about all of this? You have VRC lens, which is quite good, but it has its ups and downs. And you also have VRChat's camera, which is free, but it's built in into the game, and it also has its ups and downs. Personally, if you don't care about photos that much, and it doesn't really interest you, and you just need a simple camera to take the pictures of the current situation of what's going on, or if you're with your friends and you just want a group photo, I think that VRChat camera can get a pass. It's a simple camera, yet it has enough features to satisfy everyone. And of course, even with some features missing, it still gets a pass because you don't really care about taking photos that much. However, if you do care about how your photos turned out and you actually want to focus and actually make your photos look good, maybe even later on edit them, I still think that VRC lens is better for both photos and video recording. Just because you have so much you just have so much freedom and so much features to actually enable and turn on. And for the 10 bucks that it is, I still think it's quite good. But who knows, maybe VRChat camera will be get another update where, we'll, where it will eventually beat VRC lens, but I still think that VRC lens is strong and that it's whole and then it stays strong to its name. But of course you saw all the examples that I did and you saw all the side by side pictures. So do let me know in the comments if you don't see any difference or if you actually see some difference. VRC lens, however, is overall great and it gives you so much freedom and the fact that you can mess with it in unit and even in game you can mess with the settings i still think it's a really good camera and 
even if you never tested it I st and if you want to, I would still suggest that you go check it out as I think it's far more superior than the VRChat's camera. I hope that this video was informative guys. If you have some questions, let me know down in the comments. Click here if you would like to check out some of my rest of my videos that I made and also click here if you want to stick with the channel and watch all the new videos that are coming your way. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around. Peace.